Websites have anatomy just like the human body. Behind every click and scroll, there's an intricate component working together just like the human body. Join us as we unravel the anatomy of a website. Hey 10 x devs, today we're talking about the anatomy of a website, the different parts of it, and how they kind of all come together to create a full functioning website. And remember, stay tuned because I have a bonus tip that I can give you guys to help you start creating better websites and learn a little bit more about the anatomy of them. Let's get into it. Think of a website as human anatomy, like I said. There's skeleton, skin, muscles, heart, and brain. Each part plays a role in a bigger part of the human body. A website is exactly like this with small intricate parts that make up the whole website. The skeleton of a website holds key elements like the header, footer, menu, navbar, buttons, etc. All of these elements make up the structure and positioning of the website. This structure is what's built off of the more advanced things. The structure is made with HTML. The skin of a website, or the design, I should say, is basically how the website looks. It's wrapped around the structure and elements of the website. The design is made with usually CSS or other libraries like Tailwind CSS, SAS, etc. that are an extension of CSS, or maybe some UI, uh, UIs basically that are basically, basically components that are put together to help you make your life a little easier so you don't have to make them from scratch. This design can play a big part in your website and whether or not people stay or they leave. The muscles of a website and the functionality all come and are usually built from JavaScript or React, maybe Next.js, different type, but these are not limited to. You can also use Python, other things, but the main most popular ones are JavaScript and React to build a website. This is the functionality and the logic behind a website. This is what happened. This is what allows you to have different things happen whenever you click a button or whenever you change something on a website from either maybe dark to light mode, the JavaScript and the React, things like this are allowing you to see the change within the website happen. These different things could range from searching, forms, buttons, state management, and many different more. The heart of a website, more so the content, circulates the essence of the website. What this means is it's a mixture of cards, videos, text, heroes, hero sections, and more. Each piece reaching out to the user trying to grab their attention. The content is the sole heart of the website. You can think of the lungs of a website as optimization. The lungs, just like the lungs for the human body, optimization is what keeps the website running smooth and efficient for the user. Ways to make your website optimized is through SEO, ref or lowering refresh rates, as far as having the website refresh multiple times when it's unnecessary, image optimization, changing PNG to SVG, data fetching, making sure that you don't fetch data multiple times unnecessary, especially using like React Query or maybe Redis or Redux, so that way it allows for you to help your, with your state management so you don't have these unnecessary refreshes or reloads or data fetching. Hidden deep is the brain, the back end of a website. This is where databases and APIs work together to store vast amounts of information much like a vast digital library, kind of. Databases come in different forms, relational and non-relational databases. Languages that are used for this is Supabase, SQL, MongoDB, PostgreSQL, Node.js, Go, Express, just to name a few. Databases come in small and large forms and there can be many different types. So do your research before you go and pick the right database that matches your experience and also your basic what you're trying to do for your website. So whatever your goal is, make sure you research and grab the right kind of database and use that for your website. It's the bonus tip that you guys are waiting for. Make sure you always prioritize user experience first. A component, no matter how well designed, loses its charm if it's not user friendly. And that's true. Because if you've ever been on a website where you're trying to use a certain component or feature of the website, you just can't like, you're like, why is this that way? I don't know what's going on you've basically lost your attention and you're clicking off the website. Your website is for your audience after all, remember that. If I helped you learn a little bit more about the website's anatomy and what all goes into building a proper and great website, well then please feel free to hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, and join the description, the Discord in the description down below where I help people break into tech all the time. We have a great community on there. We're glad to have you. And also, I'll see you guys in this video over here where we're talking about some more coding stuff and learning some more. Also, if you have any extra things to add about a website's anatomy or any more information on building a great website, leave it in the comments down below. And I'll see you 10x devs later.